go. Alright, so, the end of the LRO. Super fun, and, uh, glad to have participated. It's just too bad there weren't any more, like, rage-type videos, because, uh, I, my videos in Tankas aren't that sort of hilarious rage-style sort of thing, so, uh, anyway, Proteus is pretty messed up game, <laughs> as anyone probably could have expected just by reading the title. Sorry about uh, messing up the sound. This is the only time I grab one of these power-ups, because I usually mess with my force field, but right now I clearly don't have a force field, and that helps slightly, so I do it. Um, what was I saying? I totally forget now. I go for the triple shot pretty early, because that's kind of a nice thing to have around. Grab one of those bomb things that are kind of weird, though I suppose significantly less weird than anything else in this game. I, it's often hard to use them in a way that actually makes a difference, but it would be more helpful if you could store them somehow, but I grab the rocket gloves just because I can attach them without giving up anything else. But I can't grab the tail gun without giving up my triple shot, which is probably more important. Um, option. I grab an option here before snagging the force field. Lots of weird penguin things, pirate ships, birds for some reason. I don't even know. I don't even know what those hoppy guys are. I can't even tell. Lots of penguins. Everyone knows that everything's better with penguins. I take advantage of the blizzard here to grab the force field. The blizzard is mostly annoying though because it pretty much necessitates a restart if you get it and mess up with it. Um, I make it to uh, partway through the third level in this, as you've probably already seen from the uncommentated video, unless you just wanted to wait for this one. Uh, sorry about the lack of audio, I totally forgot to change it over when I was recording trailer clips for uh, Return of the Dark Sorcerer. But yeah, I was originally planning to make it to level 5, to get to the end of level 5 and then partway through level 6, and I considered that reasonably doable, but I, unfortunately, well, not really unfortunately, because one of my friends come ov came over that day, so I, I didn't end up having time to do a decent run, I only had a couple hours to throw together one that made it partway through stage 3. After stage 3, 4 is, uh, I got 4 on my second try, but I'm not sure how repeatable that would be. It seems like I wouldn't get it nearly that often in practice, so second try on my test run, that is, uh, where I had save states just beforehand. But I'm not sure if I would be able to pull that off very consistently at a 50-50 rate, so it would probably take a while for me to repeat that. Level 5 is a step down in difficulty after all the ones before it, so if level 5 would probably be a breeze after getting through level 4. But after that, it wouldn't be reasonable to go any farther with only a week, so I would have canned it there anyway. The force field is a really handy thing to have because, I mean, when it's big, it's kind of useless because it's so easy easy to get hit, so hard to avoid hits that I'm probably not gonna actually make any use out of it, but... And now for Weird Clownville. Because that's what everybody wanted, more clowns. <laughs> My mom really, really hates clowns. Ooh, which got the power up. Actually, no, wait, never mind. This is the part where I uh, specifically don't get two power the power ups. I specifically leave myself uh, two below the top because I'll get two power ups just before the boss fight. So I don't want to collect any power ups until there just in case I make a mistake. Shooting those present guys as quickly as possible is a good idea. The clowns you can dodge just by scrolling the screen a whole bunch. The screen scrolling mechanic is loopy, but it really helps to dodge stuff. 
because you can just keep going the same direction and then slip through here and then just keep going the same direction. Though apparently I decided to sit, switch directions for whatever reason, I don't know. Sometimes it's easy to forget that the power-up that I left behind is going to come back around though. <laughs> so when I was avoiding it. Alright. Getting close to the boss now. I stacked up all my options as quickly options as quickly as possible. In my test run, I didn't have any all of my options yet. I had uh, I didn't get them all till the beginning of stage four, but so that made this slightly easier than in my test runs. But it really didn't matter. See, there's the two power ups that I snagged to get them out of the way because I if I went and grabbed them and tried to avoid them during the boss fight, that would seem a little bit stupid. This boss fight is just plain weird. I mean, even by the standards of this game. All sorts of constellations and stuff in the background, too. I don't know why. The stages seem to mostly have, like, a dodgy boss and then a... you fight it boss. I go for four sets of penguins here and then slip straight past. If you, uh, the animations of this boss are really strange and hard to, like, <laughs> expect, really. There's two options here. I can either camp over at the right side of the screen and hope to... If I have enough barrier, I can camp over at the right side of the screen, but I don't have much room to dodge. It worked out here, though, but if I don't have any barrier, or if I don't have much barrier, I generally skip over to the left side at dodging under her legs two more times. But if I have enough barrier, that's significantly easier and less risky. I don't, as you see, I don't get any bells really. It's just because I don't want to lose my force field. This boss. Weirdly enough, this went far worse than most of my test runs after I had practiced. I lost almost all my barrier here. Part of the reason was because it was so huge and impossible to dodge with at the beginning, but even still, I got hit a lot more times than I normally would have during the test run. But it doesn't matter, because this guy's not too hard. Especially with all three options. I think it's three, right? Not four? Yeah, it seems to be three. Grab the bomb, which does nothing because there's nothing on screen. And now for Super Candy Land. This is the hardest of the first five stages. As you can see, I save a save state here to practice it later, but I never reload it, so it's not like I'm cheating or anything. I have my uh, item count hovering on the force field option, so as soon as I take a hit I can put my force field back up. And as you can see I purposely ran the wall there to <laughs> make sure that I take that hit in controlled circumstances and not under a huge amount of fire that I can't that I'm not gonna react fast enough to <laughs> they'll die. Here I avoid the blizzard because I don't want it. There's plenty of power-ups during the next section and it just makes it more skill-reliant to I snag the force field. But I'll, I know that once I make it to Candy Mountain I'll have plenty of power-ups to stack up a nice easy to grab force field again so I find the blizzards kind of annoying, but can't turn them off because default settings, so... Otherwise, I probably would have. See, look, every single one of those red guys drops a power-up. Hello, Mr. Pumpkin Face. Oh, lost my thing. 
perhaps not the best place to put up the uh, big force field, but I actually do manage to make it work without throwing it all away. As you can see, I'm moving up and down a little bit. That's to make my rocket shots take out more of the candy for me. Now here, uh, there's a dead end, so you gotta make sure not to go along the dead end. It's just one thing that's really important to remember and watch out for. Here's the candy trap where uh, Tenka died. I lose my force field there, but make it out just fine. So I'm force fieldless at the moment, but this part in particular isn't too hard. But I know I'm going to die when I get to the part after it, because uh, I've got no way to attack the birds below me really easily, so it's nearly impossible to make it through. Surprisingly, I almost did. If it weren't for that one shot that just happened to be in the wrong spot, I would have made it, but... 